have to evaluate this line integral from 0 to 2 plus iota z bar whole square dz along first part real axis to 2 which means there is no imaginary axis. The only point is 2, 0 that means x equal to 2 and y equal to 0 and then 2, 2 plus iota. So here x is 2 and y is 1 which means this point is 2, 1. And b part along the line 2, y equal to x. So the solution. So first we have to evaluate along the real axis to 2 point that is this is 1, 2 which means this point 2, 0 and then vertically to 2 plus iota. 2 plus iota means this point if this is 1 this is 1 2 so this is this point let's say p this is 2 plus iota that is 2 1 let me join the line to the origin and this point to let's name this as a point so this is o a and p right and now so what is z bar whole square this is if z is x plus iota y so z bar is x minus iota y whole square and let's open this bracket so this is x square and this is minus y square minus 2 iota x y right so first we have to integrate along the real axis that is to 2 which means we have to integrate along o a and then vertically which means then we will integrate along a p right so when we integrate along o a which means y is 0 and dz will be okay if z is equal to x plus iota y then dz is equal to dx plus iota dy so in this case y is 0 so dz is dx and x varies from 0 to 2 right from 0 to 2 So let's write this integral as integrating along OA x square minus y square minus 2 iota xy and here dz is dx and then along AP alright. Along AP which means this line here along AP we have x is equal to 2 and then dz becomes because x is constant so dx is 0 here so this is iota dy. And y varies from? Yes. What is the value of y at a point? It is 0, right? And the value of y at p point? It is 1. So y varies from 0 to 1, right? So this is integrating x square minus y square minus 2 iota xy. And here dz is iota dy along a p right so let's first evaluate this integral and then evaluate this integral and then just add them together let's mark this equation as one so first evaluating the integral along oa so along oa y equal to zero and dz is dx and x is varying from zero to two so i'm just writing over here because y is zero so this is x square this is zero and this will be also 0 and then we get over here dz as dx and x is varying from 0 to 2. Easy, right? Okay, so this is equal to x cube over 3 from 0 to 2. So this is equal to 8 over 3. That's it. And then along AP, we have x is equal to 2 and dz is dy and y varies from 0 to 1. So here just... Put the value of x as 2 over here we get 4 minus this is y square minus if x is 2 this will become 4 iota y and dz is iota dy and y is varying from 0 to 1 right and now we have to integrate this with respect to y so this is okay let's take iota inside first so this is 4 iota minus y square iota minus 4 iota square y because iota square is negative 1 so this will become plus 4y 
and then dy, right? So this is equal to 4 iota of i. I'm just integrating this now. So this is y cube over 3 into iota plus 4y square over 2. So this 2 will cancel out with this. So I'm writing this as 2y square and the limits from 0 to 1. Just putting the value of y as 1 first, we get this to be as 4 iota minus iota over 3 plus 2, right? And when we put 0, the remaining terms will become then 0. So this is equal to, this is 12 minus 1, that is 11 iota over 3 plus 2. And now from 1 we get, just adding these two integrals together, so the value of the first integral is 8 over 3. Let's sum up this value to this value of the integral that is 11 iota over 3 plus 2. Because this is your real part, so this gets added with this 2. So we get this is 6 plus 8 that is 14 over 3 plus this is 11 iota over 3. That is the required answer. And now the second part, evaluating the integral along the line OP and where 2y equal to x is given to us, right? So from here I can write 2dy is equal to dx and as dz is equal to dx plus iota dy, so this is just putting the value of dx over here, we get 2dy plus iota dy and this is equal to 2 plus iota dy. And now evaluating the given integral, the integral from 0 to 2 plus iota z bar square dz. So this is equal to what is the value of z bar square we have already calculated in the first part. So this is x square minus y square minus 2 iota xy dz. So writing this as x square minus y square minus 2 iota xy. And for dz we have to write 2 plus iota dy from here. So this is 2 plus iota dy. And because we have dy over here, we have to write the limits of y over here. So the limits of y along OP. What is the value of y at O? This is 0. At the origin, y is 0. What is the value of y at point P? It is 1. So the limits of y varies from 0 to 1. And now, just taking 2 plus iota outside of this integral and then integrating this integrand with respect to y. So taking 2 plus iota outside and the integration from 0 to 1, I'm just writing this again. And this is x square minus y square minus 2 iota xy dy. Now as 2y equal to x is given to us, so we have to put the value of x first. So just putting over here x as 2y, we get 4y square minus y square minus, okay, putting x equal to 2y again, we get this is 4y square, okay. So 4 iota y square dy, right? So this is 2 plus iota from 0 to 1 integral. Okay, 4y square minus y square is 3y square, right? Minus 4 iota y square dy. Taking y square common and getting the factor 3 minus 4 iota outside. So this is, just take this 3 minus 4 iota outside of this integral. And we get over here as simply y square dy. Right? So this is 2 plus iota 3 minus 4 iota and now integrating this with respect to y we get y cube over 3 from 0 to 1 and this is equal to if you simplify this you will get this as 10 minus 5 iota and this is 1 over 3 so we get this as 10 over 3 the real part and this is 5 iota over 3 the imaginary part right so 10 over 3 minus 5 iota over 3 is the required answer to this second part of this integral. Alright, thank you.